Okay, I think it's recording. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Henry. Um, it's been a long time since I've been on here for, uh, I think it's been four years. And um, yeah, the reason I actually came back is because I just had a talk with my friends yesterday and they were telling me like, hey, you know what? Maybe you should really check out YouTube again and just kind of post some of the random things that you work on. And uh, indeed, I just, I just been working on a bunch of random stuff that wasn't even related to programming or web development type of things. And yeah, I mean, really what was, what's was been happening uh, was that I've just been traveling a lot. You know, I was in Ecuador for quite some time and then I went over to Germany and then to Bulgaria, took a train down, went to Turkey, then to Cappadocia, then not too long ago I was in India. And originally the reason why I was doing all these traveling was because I wanted to experience culture, get new, new perspective, and, you know, I just wanted to travel and just see new things. Um, and, you know, from that traveling, I just met a lot of great people. I have made a lot of like great friends, made a lot of connections, a lot of interesting folks as well too. I learned a lot in the process. Um, but one of the things that I've been doing a lot over there was teaching. Like I always love to do teaching and it's been nice to actually do a lot more teaching inside of these various different types of countries because you understand and you get to learn about like their different teaching styles and how they work. And um, it's also kind of eye-opening because when you go to these underdeveloped countries, you really see the big gap of educational knowledge, especially when it comes to AI literacy. And so, you know, in the beginning, I was just teaching different types of random subjects, you know, from English, math and music and so on. And then eventually kind of round about and went back into a little bit of computer science. And then I talked about AI literacy tools because like not too long ago when I was doing these travelings, I was like, you know, I was still doing software engineering um, and you know, naturally, when you're a software engineer, you get to see all these various types of AI tools, like ChatGPT is one of the biggest one, and you use it on a daily basis. But when you go to these underdeveloped countries, like it's like they don't, some of them just don't even know what these things are because they're disconnected from the internet. Um, and then, you know, they don't really know a lot of the, the AI tools that's out there and the changing economy. And it's kind of terrifying for me just to kind of see those people not you know, being isolated in that whole entire process, just trying to just survive and trying to make a living and gain food and having a shelter over their head and so on. And so, yeah, I, that's kind of one of the things that I've been trying to work on is really just teaching more about AI. And it's not necessarily technical. It's, it's also a big focus is really just helping education industries as well. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's what I want to just maybe just maybe start posting, maybe just post some random things about some of the AI tools that I've been learning, some of the, the new things that I'm hearing and seeing where that goes. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to make this post because I felt obligated because a lot of you guys still post me about my coding tutorials. And I'm like, oh man, you know, I have not looked at this code for a long time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope to connect with you guys and um, and see what I can do. Bye. So this is, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm what? looking at your website right now. So this is my... Wait, what? Like, what do you mean? About me. me. So I like, <laughs> I like bull blocks. And my my name is Fancy Guest and my real name is David. And I love to draw and play Roblox. And that's my favorite color said. is green. And fun fact, I play bull blocks almost all day. My favorite hobby is drawing. My favorite school subject is art class. Me too. And I have very I cool friends. But don't you what dare scroll down. This person alone. <laughs> 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 and there's Danny's dancing. <laughs>